the big bet here, the big wager is uh, Paulie's got Golden State. I don't know if John Canzano knows this, the uh, great columnist for the Oregonian, and uh, he joins us now. John, uh, do you realize that uh, Paulie is taking Golden State and, and wants to bet you $1,000 on who wins the series? What kind of odds is he going to give me? Oh, no, he said you've already picked Portland to win, therefore you Portland don't need on. Portland in six. Portland in six. Portland, why does everybody want to pick on the small market? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I hope Portland wins. By the way, I heard you nicknamed C.J. McCollum and Damian Lillard. We were talking about this yesterday on my show. Yeah. Why, Dan, why I said, how come Splash Brothers for Clay and Steph and, and the Portland guys don't have a nickname? And everybody said, Dan Patrick already named them the Rain Brothers. Yeah, the Rain Bros. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I made, I made shirts uh, three or four years ago, and uh, it's, it's got a, a rainbow. Uh, you know, shooting a jumper with the, the Rain Bros. I like that, but is, is it is it a ripoff of the Splash Brothers? Come on, um, I like it. I think it's I think it's cooler than Splash Brothers because that's a that's a takeoff of the Bash Brothers. So, okay, they right. they ripped off the Bash Brothers. Rain Rain Bros is uh, Seton's going back to see if he can follow. I mean, let's pick up. You know, let's bring back the Rain Bros, John. I like it. All right, I like it. We'll go with it. Because I said yesterday, I said, how come they don't have a nickname? Everybody said, don't you listen to Dan Patrick? I said, I listen to him every day. But I guess I missed it. All right. Summarize your column here of why Portland is going to win in six, John. Well, look, I, I, I don't like Golden State's bench. And, I, and I, I, didn't, I picked against the Blazers in the opening round. I said, there's no way they're getting by the Thunder. They get by the Thunder. They just have found a way at every juncture of this season. And I don't know who's going to step up. It could be Jake Lehman beating the Warriors. Who knows? But it has been Rodney Hood. It has been Ennis Cantor. It has been C.J. McCollum. We all know what Damian Lillard can do. I feel like the Blazers are going to steal one of these first two games. I think they're going to win their two home games. And I think Golden State's going to be facing a 3-1 deficit going back, facing elimination. So I, I think Golden State's in a little trouble here. And you did point out the age difference at uh, about three years average age for Golden State against Portland. Uh, you also have depth with Portland and, uh, you know, you have that survival mentality. But then I also go back to what I, mean, I don't know what Golden State is right now without Durant. When Durant comes back, the fact they may play the first two games without him, uh, you know, does that bode well uh, better for Portland that these first two games without Durant? It, it feels that way, but. You know, this is the same team that went into Houston and beat Houston in a, you know, must-win situation for them. So what do you expect from Golden State? Well, look, the Warriors are great. We all know that. But I, I felt like in the opening round against the Clippers, we all saw they were, they were disinterested. They were looking to the Houston Rockets and saying, that's the Western Conference Finals. So I think people in Portland are sort of hoping that they feel like they already won the Western Conference Finals and that this is another early-round matchup for them. I feel like if Portland can, can – Portland has to win one of these first yes. games to win yeah. this series. They yeah. have to. I, I think they have to win tonight. I mean, I think that's, that is the game for them because I think the Warriors, we've all seen it. They, they, they get a little bored. They're a little disinterested. They're that good. But I think if the Blazers are going to get one, they get one tonight and they, they do what they need to do in, in Golden State and then they come back home. They're, they're terrific at home. I think that, you know, the season series supports that. Uh, they split the season series. But, you know, at some point, Durant comes back. And we've all seen this, whether it's DeMarcus Cousins or Durant. When a guy comes back into the lineup, we watch teams struggle to sort of adjust to share the ball. I thought the Warriors looked better without Durant than they did with him. But So I, I'm, I'm sort of counting on that to be a factor. And I, this Blazers team has just been counted out at every juncture. And if you go by uh, Oracle Arena, you drive by it, what do you see out in front of the arena? You see this giant billboard with Damian Lillard's picture on it. And, and you know, that's he, – he used to walk – he could walk to, to that Coliseum from his neighborhood. I, I feel like this series has got a lot of personal appeal to Lillard. The Blazers are playing with a chip on their shoulder. They're dangerous then. I think it's going to be really compelling basketball. Uh, Paulie is going to change the bet. Well, I'm just worried because, you know, working in the media, I don't want John to get in trouble for betting actual cash. How about I pick a restaurant in Portland, a real nice one. Portland wins. You could take uh, the family out there on me and vice versa. Like the, Let's do it. How about the? there's a restaurant in uh, Portland called, a couple people on the Internet said, Screen Door. It's supposed to be awesome. 
Let's breakfast. Let's do Swank. Swank is a downtown restaurant. It's got a moonshine and whiskey bar across the way called Swine. You could go to Swank or Swine. You pick. Okay. All wow. Right. Okay. And then, but you got to find a restaurant for John to pick up the tab for you, Paul. Yeah, and I'm taking you guys, John, so it's going to be pricey. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. You know, I do love this. This is the one thing I love about this, John, is it allows the nation to see Portland as a, as a fan base and it allows them to see that backcourt that is overshadowed. Um, and, and it's a chance for a coming out party. It's, it's weird. Damian Lillard became an overnight sensation after, what, seven or eight years in the league with that shot that he hit against o- OKC. And C.J. McCollum hopefully gets that same coming out party. So from that standpoint, I, I'm glad Portland's here. I hope they win. Um, and I, you know, I hope that they get some notoriety. Even Terry Stotts, you know, with uh, the job that he's done there in Portland. And Dan, let me tell you, I mean, you, you've you done a great job recognizing that. And I think you're one of the few national voices that, that has had Lillard and Stotts on your show and, and talked about them. But how would, would this be great for the league or bad for the league for the Warriors to get knocked out by a mid, you know, a, a small market team at this juncture of the playoffs? Is this good? Is this good if it's Milwaukee and Portland or is it bad? As a basketball fan, I think it's great. But I'm not a TV executive, and I don't care to think that way. I just look at it and say, what would be fun? What would I don't want? I don't want something predictable, John. And I think that's the problem we've had with Golden State is it felt predictable. Therefore, the regular season didn't mean anything. You know, people didn't have Portland making the playoffs this year, believe it or not. And that's what I found amazing. And, you know, the fact that they've gotten this far and if they would happen to get into the finals, I think it would be great. I really do, because it would be unpredictable. And and that's what's made this run so good for the Blazers, that we just have never known on a day-to-day basis who's going to step up. And it could be Seth Curry in the face of his brother. It could be Zach Collins, who had his coming out party sort of in the last series and and looks uh, like a player that the Warriors are going to have to account for. We just haven't known. And and Lillard scoring 13 points in that Game 7 I thought he played one of his better games. And I've been hard on this franchise. They lost 10 straight playoff games entering this season. I thought they were going nowhere. I was saying break up the backcourt. And now I'm looking at him going, you know, this makes sense. (laughs) Yeah, I thought that, that if they bowed out against OKC, that then maybe there was changes happening in Portland. But you know what? You got a great backcourt there, and hopefully uh, they're able to play up to that potential and uh, you know go toe to toe with that backcourt with Golden State. John, it's great to talk to you. Our best to uh, the great city of Portland, and we appreciate your time. Thanks, Dan. And that's uh, John Kenzano. So Paulie has the bet. It's uh, dinner. That's fun. Swank and swine. That sounds good. Yeah, but we don't get to go to Portland for the swank and swine. Who says? Well, I. I mean, I'd love to go back to Portland. What if Portland makes the NBA Finals? Mm. What do you smell? I smell mm. road trip. Oh, you do? Yeah, you smell it? Dude, I, we haven't been to Portland in like 10 years. I know. That was my my first Bloody Mary I ever had. It was a hammer, too. It was like... This. Yeah, I was with Seton. We came back from the show that day, and I, I have no idea why. I just said, uh, how about a Bloody Mary? I think it was like 9.20 in the morning. <laughs> I said, uh, how about a Bloody Mary? He goes, yeah, I'm up for it. Sat down, and the Bloody Mary, it was pretty pretty big glass Bloody Mary there. Damn tasty, too, yeah, it? Yeah, it was. It was yep. great. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I had for breakfast, but I had a Bloody Mary. I know that. Nice nap right after. Yes, I did. Yeah, I loved it. They have all the food carts, uh, food trucks down, downtown. They have like a city block full of great food trucks. Yeah. Yeah, we, we really loved Portland. Loved Portland. I could have stayed there. Yep. Could have stayed there for a little Easy. while. Yeah. Very pretty. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.